Welcome back. If you've only just joined us, you're watching the Daily Roundup. Well, today we're putting a spotlight on innovation, youth entrepreneurship and regional uh, collaboration. Earlier this month, Namibia was represented at the Venture Bridge Open Day in Valcom, South Africa, a platform where young innovators from across the region, including South Africa and Lesotho, showcased their prototypes and solutions developed over a six-month residency program. Joining us now is Mr. Moses Moses, who represented the National Commission on Research, Science and Technology. He attended the event and he's now here to share his insight and what this means for Namibia's innovation landscape. Mr. Moses, good evening and thank you so much for being here. Good evening and thanks for having me. Well, to start <coughs> with, could you tell us more about the Venture Bridge Open Day and what stood out to you, you know, most uh, during this event? Yeah, thank you. Um, and uh, um, good evening to the listeners and to the viewers out there. The, the, the Venture Bridge um, uh, Open Day uh, session um, uh, that took place at, uh, in, at uh, Welcome in South Africa um, was actually aimed at um, bringing together all the university and uh, vocational training center graduates who are unemployed to try and um, um, uh, incubate them for about six months um, in various skills and uh, knowledge of what they have learned at school mm -hmm. to try and make sure that by the time the six months are over, they are able to be absorbed in the job market mm -hmm. easily. And uh, those from the vocational training centers are able to either come up with their own uh, businesses mm -hmm. um, and get their businesses and uh, prototype registered through the um, local or the, the, the national um, uh, intellectual property office, uh, which is the uh, replica of BIPA in Namibia. Um, all these um, are, are carried out with the assistance of uh, Venture Bridge, mm -hmm. which is there to which was established to actually um, bridge the gap between uh, graduation and uh, employment, mm -hmm. which is very, very difficult uh, for most countries, including Namibia and Lesotho, who were invited. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as you said, this was a six-month incubation period project for prototypes and innovations of, of these uh, people, young yeah. people who um, you know, attended or participated. So what were some of the most promising uh, innovations that you encountered? Well, um, on, the, on the side of the management of, of the center and the uh, Venture Bridge um, uh, company as a whole, um, the most impressive, uh, innovative uh, uh, um, um, initiatives is, to, is the way they have turned, in, uh, they've turned these uh, graduates, let's say hopeless graduates, <laughs> as I say, into serious employable uh, mm. individuals mm -hmm. and into serious um, business uh, individuals. And um, this is from the, 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 the way they, 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 they are conducting themselves. Um, and it, it's very important to mention that uh, even the vote of uh, thanks um, at the end of the event was delivered by one of the uh, incubators, if they say an English word like that, mm -hmm. um, who trained in um, uh, communication and she did so well. So the prototypes that were displayed are a good example of, um, uh, of, of what they can do. Mm -hmm. And these are products that are ready for the market. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, as we know, Namibia does have a, a growing pool when it comes to young innovators. So what lessons or best practices uh, from this event do you think you know, could be adopted for our local context? Yes, we can do the same. Do it the same way they are doing it, because uh, what's happening is actually um, going to um, um, uh, towns and cities um, that are uh, having a high rate of unemployment um, as a result of uh, any anything that can lead to that. Uh, Welcome was chosen because uh, uh, before independence in South Africa, um, I think 1994, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Welcom was one of the very um, um, active uh, t uh, towns in terms of uh, um, uh, infrastructure development, uh, uh, marketing, uh, uh, trade and all that mm -hmm. uh, because of the mining activities that were taking place yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. But following the closing of the mine, everything just uh, the town itself just died a natural death mm. and that's why venture um, bridge chose welcome to uh, actually showcase the 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 the, the 
uh, act that, uh, or the fact that uh, this can be done, uh, towns that are falling apart can actually be resurrected and then uh, people uh, in those towns do not need to, have to leave the town to go to other towns and try and uh, uh, find employment. Right, they can create right. their own employment uh, right. within their own towns. Uh, let's talk a little bit about collaboration and how important, you know, um, regional innovation cooperation is, particularly between countries such as um, Namibia, South Africa and uh, Lesotho. Yes, um, before we talk about regional collaboration, the importance uh, thereof, um, maybe we should start by um, I, uh, recognizing and appreciating the tireless efforts by our uh, Chief Executive Officer, uh, uh, Prof. Uh, Dr. Um, uh, Anisha Peters, because it was through her that uh, Namibia uh, got invited to this uh, very important event. Mm -hmm. And um, was it not for what NCRS is doing nationally, we were not going to be recognized. They were probably going to um, invite Angola or, or <laughs> <laughs> Zimbabwe or Botswana or any other country, but mm -hmm. they, they opted for Namibia and Lesotho for various reasons, one of which um, uh, our uh, active um, um, uh, involvement and uh, contribution to uh, research science technology and yeah. innovation yeah. Uh, ecosystem. So um, we, we, we were invited to this uh, regional collaboration and what we took from there is that um, the importance of uh, regional collaboration is that what South Africa has, for example, Namibia doesn't. Mm. And what Namibia has, Lesotho doesn't. So it's very important for us to collaborate and uh, learn from each other. It mm -hmm. doesn't matter how big, how small, in terms of population, in terms of the economy, we always have something that the other countries don't have. Yes. And they have recognized the fact that uh, in Namibia, um, um, uh, the NCRS is doing very well in terms of um, uh, uh, creating a an enabling environment for research science and technology and innovation um, uh, to, to, to prosper. Uh, and, and the same thing with Lesotho and, mm -hmm. and, and all that. So it's very important for us to collaborate and learn from each other. Yeah. Yeah. In terms of, of, of uh, empowerment, youth empowerment and you know, enterprise mm -hmm. development, uh, Mr. Moses, mm -hmm. what role do events like this play um, you know, in driving real impact, not just uh, awareness, mm -hmm. but you know, tangible support? Yes, it will play an important role um, in terms of um, uh, making sure that um, our graduates, because uh, it is well known that um, uh, most graduates um, from universities and from vocational training centers, not all of them get jobs, obviously, uh, straight from, from school. Uh, but um, w w what is important is, to, is, is to, to learn how South Africa is doing it mm. by looking at, the, at, at, at these graduates, um, uh, create something that can um, add to the value of, of, of what they learn from school and prepare them for the, for, for the job market, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. for, for those that are from universities and those from vocational training centers, train them more um, and, and, and make them um, understand the dynamics of um, uh, the job market and the, 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 the sectors that they have studied in, um, especially the prototypes that we, we, we witnessed there, um, these are prototypes um, that are showing products that are ready for the market. Mm -hmm. I was impressed to see products from um, food, from um, uh, uh, electronics, mm -hmm. um, everything else. Uh, uh, that, that, that the same products that you see when you walk into a Mr. Price home or Pep home, the same products, mm -hmm. and uh, this is uh, also possible for Namibia to uh, emulate yeah, and, yeah. And, and come up with uh, something something similar. What are the next steps for the NCRST following you know this visit, and how can uh, aspiring innovators uh, uh, within the country stay informed or get involved in, in similar upcoming opportunities? Well, the, the next step for us is um, as we speak, we, we we have a pending online meeting uh, between um, uh, venture. Uh, uh, bridge mm -hmm. and uh, our local um, key stakeholders. We're not going to talk to everybody um, at, 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 at the beginning, but we are going to talk to key stakeholders and and, uh, and, and, and try to come up with a, a roadmap mm -hmm. as to what to do, learn from each other, and then uh, uh, draw up a, an action plan 
as to how can this be done. Um, and I'm, I'm happy to, um, to announce that um, after the, 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 the activities in Welcome, we, we, we drove to um, Santa City where uh, I was staying and we had a breakfast uh, meeting with the founder of, uh, uh, of Venture Bridge uh, together with uh, one of the uh, senior partners. And uh, that meeting uh, actually was a very successful one because I was uh, able to um, convince them to come to Namibia uh, and, and, and see what we can offer. And on the spot, they have offered to actually support Namibia financially mm. and uh, as well as technically to be able to set up the same um, center as they have in Welcome. And uh, they just uh, requested that we avail a, 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 a place um, the way it can be set up without yeah. any hassles from municipalities or from the traditional uh, authorities. You, you know very well that uh, in Namibia, like in other countries, you don't just walk in and set up something. You have all <laughs> these bureaucratic yeah. Uh, yeah, ways of uh, requesting for that and get that approval. If we can go past that, those hassles, by the time they come to Namibia, they will be ready to, to, to help us set up something similar. Fantastic. Yeah. Mr. Moses Moses, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. It's my pleasure. Thank you. We'll be right back after this brief break. Stay with us.